Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and today's topic is AWS Cloud Formation. In today's topic, we are going to install and configure WordPress environment with Cloud Formation. So, what is a Cloud Formation? A simple definition is Cloud Formation is a infrastructure deployment and configuration tool. To start a demonstration on Cloud Formation, you require a AWS account. If you don't have a AWS account, go ahead and create yourself. Once you connected your AWS account, go to your home page and type Cloud Formation in search tab. Before starting a practical demonstration, let me explain a couple of things about Cloud Formation. All the resources that you want to build in your AWS environment should be defined in a Cloud Formation template. You can create a template in a JSON, YAML, or simple text file. Then we put this template into a Cloud Formation stack. So now, what is a stack? A stack is a collection of AWS resources that you can manage as a single unit. For example, in WordPress environment, all the resources you are defining in a simple template like Node.js, MySQL database, and all other configuration that is required for the WordPress. And after that, you are adding this particular template into a stack so that you can manage your WordPress environment with this single stack. So let's go ahead and start the demonstration. First of all, you require to create a new stack. Now you require a cloud formation template. This template can be written in JSON file, YAML file, or text file. For the demonstration purpose, you can download this template from my GitHub account. Download this file in your local desktop. I have downloaded this file from my GitHub account to my local machine. Go back in your AWS account. Browse the file which you downloaded from your GitHub account. Okay. This file is going to upload on AWS S3 your account. Click on Next. These are user parameters that is required to set up your WordPress environment. Now, time is to explain the template file. This is a template file. Line number one, AWS template format version. It is different than API version. Give the current date. Give the meaningful description parameters. This is most important part. Parameters are getting inputs from users. For example, it is looking a database name. If you don't provide a database name, then by default database name is WordPress database. You can see here, this is the parameters and if you don't provide your database name, then default database name is WordPress database. Second parameters is database password. You can see here, allow pattern is a alphanumeric user has to provide a alphanumeric database password no default value then it is looking for database root password and this is for the mysql root password again you require to provide only alphanumeric content next parameter is database user and again you have to provide a alphanumeric database user you can see all the parameters here database password db root password and db user next parameter is instance type this parameter is not looking a value from users it is providing option to select these are allowed value if you click here instant type you can see all the options available here you require to select one of the option if user doesn't select any of value from drop down box then 
it is going to be select a default value is t2 small look at here instance type you can see here the instance type are coming from the template if you don't select any of the option then default value select is t2 small next parameter is a key name and this is ec2 key pair this ec2 key pair should be existed or available in your aws account this key parameters automatically pick your existing ec2 key pair we can verify in cloud formation console click on key name and if you drop down it is going to listing out your all existing ec2 key pair select any of them which you like for the wordpress environment the next parameter is ssh location provide the ip address range that can be used to ssh to the ec2 instance if you don't provide any ip range then default range is 0.0.0.0 subnet we can verify this parameter in aws cloud formation console if you don't provide a ip range then default value is 0.0.0.0 and 0 subnet now parameter section has been completed mapping section has been started in the mapping section we are going to map value with key first one is AWS instance type to ARP in mapping section. This is for the machine architect. For example, C1.medium will be virtual machine for 64 bit. Another example, C3.2 extra large will be hardware virtual machine for 64 bit. So these are value and these are key parameters. Second one is AWS instance type to net arc in mapping section this is basically for the networking part c1 dot medium will be network virtual 64 bit another example c3 dot 2 extra large will be net hardware virtual machine for 64 bit so this is the value and this is the key parameters third one is aws region r2 mi in mapping section basically this section is mapping all available ami in particular region for example these are machines that are available in particular region us hyphen east hyphen one too huge mapping section has been ended now resource section has been started and resource are very important part of any template in the resource section we are going to define all the resources that is required to set up a environment for example for the wordpress environment we required a ec2 instance so we started with web server and we required a ec2 instance we provided a creation policy resource signal and we provided a timeout value pt15m so let me explain what is the creation policy what algorithm we are going to use to set up a wordpress environment as soon as a ec2 machine launch we are calling a cfn.init script during the boot scrap to configure and set up a wordpress environment we are asking cloud formation to wait 15 minutes to complete installation and configuration of wordpress environment if scripting is not completing installation and configuration part within the 15 minutes then cloud formation sending a failure message next one is metadata in the metadata section you are going to define or collect all the required information that is required to set up your wordpress environment in config set if you require more than one config then you can create a list of config set for example to set up the wordpress environment we require three config set one is installation config second is installation wordpress third one is configure wordpress first configuration set is configure wordpress and these are set of command for configuration 
that is required to set up a WordPress environment. For example, set MySQL root password. Command is sub. It means that substitute variable with your referencing value. So here, DB root password is going to replace with your user input. Second one is create database and third one is configure WordPress. The next config set is installation configuration. So we are now going to use a file function. For example, we are going to replace value cf1-hut.config file with AWS region and stack ID. And we are assigning user and group permission on this file. This is the again we are calling the file function and updating a file. Now we are calling a service function and we are enabling and ensuring this service called cfn-hub. The next config set is install WordPress. Again we are calling a file function and we are creating a um, file under the temp location with these information. Next one also we are creating a setup.mysql file under the temp location. Now we are calling a package function and we are going to set up all the components by using yum command. For example, Apache, MySQL, PHP, etc. Then we are calling a service function and we are going to enable Apache and MySQL service and making sure these service should be up and running. Now we are calling a source function and we are going to download a latest version of the WordPress under var www html location. Now we have collected all the required information in config set. Now let's go ahead and create a properties section to set up and configure the WordPress environment. First one is image ID. We are going to find a image ID in the mapping section. These are a combination of the mapping section. Next one key name is EC2 key pair name and this key name or this key pair name is coming from user input. Next one is security groups and we are going to get a security group information by referring web server security group function and this is web server security group function. What kind of the resource is AWS EC2 security group and what is the properties? We are going to open port 80 from all IP address and we are going to open port 22 from reference location. Now go back in user data and we are going to update CFN bootstrap. Once the update process has been completed, the CFN bootstrap is calling during the EC2 instance getting boot. Next one is CFN hyphen init. Bootstrap is calling CFN dot init command to set up the WordPress environment with the value. First one is stack ID name or stack ID name. The resource is web server. Config set WordPress installation and region AWS region. All the values are coming from top to bottom of the template. Next one is CFN hyphen signal. It is going to send a signal to the cloud formation about the failure or success of CFN INIT. We have already covered web server security group and last one is output. After installation and configuration of the WordPress environment, it is providing a output of a public IP address or website URL to access your WordPress environment. It is very difficult to explain very large template with line 5 or 3 but I tried my best to be explained. So go back into the cloud formation console and provide the required information. Select instance type. I am okay with t2.small. I have two key pair. I am okay with AWS demo and I am okay to open port 22 from all IP address. Click on next 
these are optional i am skipping all the section and click on the next go ahead and review this is my template url estimate post state name db name db password db root password db user instance type it is p22 small key name and sss location no tagging information or optional are blank go ahead and create it you can check status create in progress you can click on events go ahead and refresh cloud formation stack initiated it is going to take some time you can refresh to get latest update on your event received a green signal for a completion of cloud formation stack go ahead and click on outputs we can access our wordpress by using this url or a public ip address so let's go ahead and try to access the wordpress website well done we successfully launch a wordpress website by using cloud formation template now we can use same template to create a number of the wordpress website in our environment without knowing underlying infrastructure that's all in this video thanks for watching have a nice day